Hey guys, welcome to Abby's Auras or welcome back if you've been here before. Please make sure you're hitting that subscribe button and the bell icon so you don't miss out on any of my future videos. Okay, so this is three ways to manifest your SP super quickly. So I do want to just put a disclaimer, like I don't want people to be going and chasing um, SPs or, um, you know, love without really truly loving yourself first. And I know that you want to hear, okay, do this, this and this and they will instantly appear. I am going to tell you some ways to do, you know, um, to get into the energy of doing that. But first, please work on yourself and please learn to feel love in the moment without having other people there because that is going to, that is, that's the part where it's going to come so quickly because you're in that state of love and you're in the state of gratitude for that love. And that's what, that's where the manifestation happens so quickly because of the amount of love you feel for yourself. And the amount of love you can give yourself that that helps connect it helps bridge it and if you can give yourself that much love you're able to receive it too so just a bonus one love yourself and you know really work on loving yourself but number two work on receiving love from everyone so see everything everyone that's trying to connect with you even if it's just a message on your phone it doesn't matter what it says doesn't matter who it's from just look at when you get a message just like thank you for loving me so like just see things that you're receiving as love and that will really help you and um, you know start to see yourself receiving love your subconscious will be like oh she's receiving love because you're um kind of tricking your subconscious to think that you're receiving love so even if it's like a penny on the floor you'll pick it up and just say thank you for receiving love um that or thank you i love receiving love or something like that or if someone opens the door for you like give it give them gratitude like tell them thank you and just in your head just be like oh, i love receiving love like see everything around you as love and be open to receiving it rather than if someone texts you like oh god they're more over me like I don't want to message them they keep messaging me they're so desperate or they're so needy like I'm trying I'm busy I'm trying to do work or um if someone opens the door for you then you say oh no it's fine you go through like that you're not receiving you're you're projecting so just allow it even if it's a compliment, I used to struggle so much on receiving compliments and um, it still makes me feel a bit uncomfortable but I'm trying my hardest to be like thank you I'm like even if I grip my teeth sometimes I'm like thank you because I feel so awkward but I myself I'm working on receiving love and um, and allowing people to be nice to me and say kind things I'm just allowing myself to receive it and I'm like thank you <laughs> so accept the compliments talk nicely to yourself and accept nice words from yourself and just love yourself so <laughs> there's a whole lot before we even go into it but that that is the main important thing because if you can't love yourself and if you can't feel love right now you're not going to be able to manifest love into your life you're going to manifest chaos and you're going to manifest someone that's like um, emotionally unavailable or even actually unavailable. So just work on that first and then we're going to go into it. So I have put this down because I feel like it links with what I've just said. So get into your feminine energy. So in a relationship, a feminine energy um, attracts a masculine energy. And um, whether you're a girl or a boy, it doesn't matter it's just feminine and masculine energy so 
When you're in feminine energy, you're in a receiving energy and I've been working with this energy now for a few months and I've really had to um, work on receiving. I'm normally a, a very masculine energy um, but I just kind of went through this little shift and I'm like wow what happened? So it's the receiving energy, you have to just learn to receive more. It's kind of like the first one but just knowing that you're in that feminine energy and choosing when to turn it off and on you know like sometimes I need to um step into my masculine energy to get work done but a lot of the time I'm just allowing and loving myself and just like I'm gonna give myself a bath and just have like some candles and just sit and meditate or I'm going to read this book with a big blanket over me and just chill or I'm just gonna just listen to music, dance, whatever it is, but just be in that flow state, be in that feminine energy to attract without taking as much action. Because I feel like sometimes action is almost desperation or needy energy in this instance, because when we're manifesting love, we don't kind of want to be like, um, if we already feel like if you're if you're asking like can we manifest my sp you're already in that um needy state it sounds not really nice saying that but it's like if you're asking for that then you're already in a state of it's not here so if we switch it and get into that feminine energy and create the energy here and allow it to come to us because we're going to be magnetic then we don't kind of have to go and like try and message them loads or stalk where they are or things like that. Like, let's not do that. So that's number one is getting into your feminine energy and, and just really allowing things, manifestations to flow to you rather than going and hustling and getting them. Okay, so I feel like I've chatted so much about that one. Okay, so Number two is work on yourself and that's not just loving yourself like I said before. I mean work on yourself and keep growing, do some you know um, self-development courses and um, maybe work on your business, maybe work on um, a project you have, maybe do some art, maybe um, try writing a book for the first time, whatever it is Personally, for me, I am obsessed with self-development courses because I love figuring out limited beliefs that I've got and I'm like, oh, I can remove that. Like, I just enjoy self-development. Um, so working on yourself and really just learning more about yourself is so important because one, you will remove so many limited beliefs that you didn't even know you had. So you can do this by like journaling, asking yourself triggering questions as you're journaling to just get it all out and release it all. And um, you can do it on, you can get healing Reiki sessions. Any of these things will really help, but it's not to get the love, it's to just work on yourself and be within yourself. So as you're going through this, you're not focused on attracting love, you're focused on yourself. So if someone had love in their life, you know, and they're content, they're not gonna be constantly focused on how do I get love? Like, are they messaging me? Like, why is this not happening right now? That's focus on, on not having it. So focusing on yourself and creating yourself to be this um, perfect version of yourself that was in that relationship, then that will attract them. But if you're, um, you know, if you, let's say you have some um, beliefs or some actions, maybe some habits that are not the best for a relationship, then work on that now. Because if you get in a relationship, then you're still going to have them. Let's not wait until then. Let's work on ourselves now. So we are able to receive better and we're able to communicate better in a relationship. So doing that before the relationship will be so much easier and it will attract a healthier person as well. So if you're in a, um, this, whatever energy you have right now, that's the type of energy you're gonna attract from a person. So if you've worked on yourself and you've done all the self growth and 
the self-work and you're just at this such healthy part of your life then that's the energy you're going to attract from the other person so it's super important to do that and the last one is to visualize before you go to sleep so this is going to basically get this um manifestation into your subconscious and that's basically where we want it to be when we're manifesting because a lot of our thoughts are recycled and they're just on autopilot because they're all in our subconscious and we don't even know it a lot of the time we don't even realize we're thinking these thoughts over and over again and we're trying to figure out why we manifest in all of this chaos and really it's just your subconscious thoughts constantly on repeat so visualizing or journaling whatever little it's best to visualize and also you can do meditations and you know the sleep and the uh healing music and stuff like that before sleep because that goes into your subconscious as well um so doing this before sleep is the best way to get it into your subconscious and visualizing and maybe a a date with them or just the the present moment being with them and visualize it like it's happening now rather than in the future this is going to happen so doing this all just as we go to sleep having an amazing night night sleep and um, that'll all be fresh in your mind therefore that's what you're going to go into as you sleep and you might have a dream about it if you do fab use that dream and um, you know to manifest i have um a dream um video that i did recently it's the lucid dreaming one that's amazing for manifesting so go check that out if you need help with dreaming but yeah so visualizing just before we go to sleep really helps it and then when we wake up it's already going to be in our subconscious it's had hours and hours of just manifesting and really getting that momentum to come into our life physically and that's just the perfect way really so that is it for today's video um i'm super excited i love love so i'm excited to hear your guys story in the comments below and yeah i also have some meditations on um attracting love and your sp i believe it might have not been out yet i know i have one of one of them up there anyway so go check that out if you need um if you prefer the healing music as you go to sleep but i definitely suggest visualizing with that music as much as you can so that's it for this video and i will see you guys tomorrow